It's 40 years since the Beatles' White Album was released, one of the most remarkable and diverse records in the history of popular music. The album, 30 songs over two discs, was recorded here in this studio in London's Abbey Road. The album was originally going to be called A Doll's House, and the cover was going to feature the Beatles and a bunch of wild animals. But something happened. The title was abandoned, and as a reaction to the busy, multicolored covers that the Beatles had helped foster, they decided on having no artwork at all. The White Album was born. Mainly through the writing skills of John Lennon and Paul McCartney, the songs reflect the life and struggles of the time in which they were recorded. Has there ever been a year like 1968? At a time when nations and cultures were still separate, there occurred a spontaneous combustion of rebellious spirits that shook the world. The fighting was at its most horrific in 68. A nation of unprecedented power was attempting to subdue a weak and fragile country and sparked mass protest around the world. I think two million or more Vietnamese were killed by the Americans. It was the first time that youth had been internationalized. They all saw the same things, and that was through TV. Back in the, US, the Beach Boys pastiche clearly indicated where the Beatles' sympathies lay, supporting anything but the US. Have you seen the little biggies in two of his compositions on the album, George Harrison shows his awareness of the times. Little Piggies uh, was taken by some people to be an attack upon the police. And in his despairing lament, While My Guitar Gently Weeps. While my guitar gently weeps. Early in the year, while in India at the Maharishi Yogi's retreat for transcendental meditation, the Beatles wrote many of the songs that were to feature on the album. Dear Prudence, dedicated to Mia Farrow's sister, because she just kind of locked herself away and wasn't part of the group. And he was saying, as he implores on the song, for her to come out and play. On the 4th of April, Martin Luther King, the black American civil rights leader, was shot dead in Memphis. Blackbird, a McCartney composition, is a song of hope. Progress comes from two things, the flame of anger against injustice and the flame of hope. You can build a better world. The Beatles' sessions for the album are famous not only for the songs that were on it, but also for the songs that weren't. Paul actually phoned me up and asked me, could he write a song for me? Step inside, love. Let me find you a place. Step inside, love. I want you to stay. In Powell used language, the rivers of blood, which stimulated hostility to immigrants. Multiculturalism was being attacked by a politician, but in contrast, was being applauded by the Beatles. The White Album was also the band's formal transition from four-track to eight-track recording and marked a diverse set of songs, some being very experimental. It was like a work of art that took time to appreciate. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Early days of uh, really playing with tape recorders in an unusual way. It sounds like four different people making the same album. I think by the time John got to doing I'm So Tired, he was actually tired of the Beatles. Oh, oh, oh. Curse to Walter Raleigh was such a stupid get, was such a funny line. The roller coaster year it was to finish with an historic mission of human endeavor. Apollo 8's flight became the most watched television program ever. The White Album, like the year in which it was released, ended on a note of hope, with a song that described the sun turning out its light and the moon beginning to shine. Reflecting the images taken from Apollo 8, it was like a lullaby that observed the world from a distance. Our beautiful home, the Earth, glistening alone, blue and white. Good night. <laughs>